All right, guys, today we're going to do a 30-minute quick play of Basements and Basilisk Storms of Sorcery. I will have a link in the description below. Uh, this game came out in February 27, 2023. A visual novel paying satrical... Sa satrical... I can't speak. Anyways, homage to the world's greatest TTRPG, making important choices, roll countless dice... Build lasting relationships, explore magical lands, and experience all the rest of the crap you expect from a fantasy game without the hassle of finding actual friends to play with. I currently have none. It's fine. Nobody cares. Reviews are mostly positive. We're going to give this baby a shot. And uh, I don't want to play too much of it. We don't want to spoil the story. Um, I'm going to leave. Let, let me check the options real quick. Let's go over the options. We should be good with the music being on here. I'm not actually streaming this. this is just a recording for YouTube. Potentially Twitch also. I may upload this on Twitch too as a VOD. Link in the description below too for that. Uh, let's see. Disable camera shakes out now. This all seems fine. These are Greek developers. That's why Greek is an option. We're going to just get going. We'll see what happens. Oh, I need to enter a player name. Oh, whatever name shall I pick? I cannot. Turbo614YT, which is my Twitch username. That's right, I'm plugging myself. All right, let's see. Here we go, it's time. Okay, I'm supposed to click that. I knew that. I knew that. Totally knew it. You are alone. Ooh, take a sheet. Achievement unlocked. Nice. The screen is getting darker. Am I supposed to click something? I probably am. I knew it. I'm a human fighter. You've been running for hours. Maybe even days. You can't tell anymore. What is it you're wanting, running away If I could learn how to talk at least once in a day, what are you running away from? Are you running towards something? You don't remember. The only thing you know is that you must keep on running. Also in this game... The choices you make lead to potentially different endings, so there really won't be any spoilers in this game. Your feet hurt. That's true. You're short of breath. False. What do you want to do? Drink my coffee. Oh, um... I'm going to keep running. Yes, I keep running. There's no reason for you to stop now. That's true. It's not your first time running. That's true also. You can handle this. Uh-oh. Something happened. Flash of red lightning in the distance. The valley around you is illuminated for a moment. You're in the middle of nowhere. Oh my gosh. What's happening? You see no landmarks. No buildings. Just a few trees here and there. Tall grass everywhere and... Wait. Did something just move? I want to know what it is. Roll sense for me, please. Hold shuffle. Release. There we go. Rolling the dice. What happens? We rolled an 11. All right. Good times. You see a figure moving in the shadows between lightning strikes. Oh, my gosh. We're going to die. I just can tell. One quick glimpse and it's gone again. It ain't that there Sasquatch, is it? The old monkey man? You try to follow it with your eyes. It's a wyvern, isn't it? <laughs> you think it just moved past you. Well, I would smell it if it was a Sasquatch, that's for sure. Maybe it's not after you. That could be true. The atmosphere grows tense. You find it hard to breathe. The air becomes damper by the second. You can feel the storm approaching, and then it starts. Heavy rain falls from the sky as the storm roars. I do not like getting wet. Good thing I have my crow hat on. Just saying. Thunder clouds move even closer to you. You do not feel safe anymore. The sky is painted red by sparks within the clouds. The bright crimson formation moves as if it's breathing. As if it has a purpose. A bolt of lightning is heading towards you. Give me a quickness roll. All right, let's do it. We're going to shuffle it. Boom. 
I like the music. Noise. You jump backward right on time. You dodge the thunderstrike success successfully. If I could only talk. Oh my gosh. Everything's going to hell. Uh, oh, I was going to run away, but I didn't get the chance. You move your eyes skyward. I didn't have a lot of time to make a decision there. <laughs> Thunderclouds are no longer amorphous. The cold... I don't know how to say that. In a Christmas spiral of wind and sparks. A terrifying yet beautiful sight. Oh my gosh. More beautiful than anything you've ever seen. As more and more thunderstrikes hits close by, you realize you are surrounded. Better not be by Sasquatch, man. Short hooded figures chant in a strange language. You see them fall on their knees one by one. Their hands touching the ground. Their faces obscured. Storm grows stronger as the chanting continues. You look at the sky once more. The crimson thunderclouds stretch as far as you can see. The entirety of the valley is illuminated. The majesty of the sight has you frozen in place. You could do nothing but bask in its presence. As you marvel at the sight, you see the clouds spiral twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash turbo 614YT. Just had to throw it in there. It slowly unfurls as it moves higher and higher. Oh my gosh. And then you notice. Countless pairs of great feather wings spur out of the air itself. The serpentine cloud formation stretches as if it just awoke from a long slumber. A pair of powerful bright red eyes look down at you. Oh jeez, we're going to die. You see a familiar looking city in the clouds. Storm looks as if it's about to devour it. Oh my. The figure stands among the buildings. Who could it be? Well, I don't know. Oh my gosh, this time lightning strikes right at you. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. You fall on the ground looking straight at the creature above you. You see it open its mouth and make a fami familiar roaring sound. Oh, it's time. You close your eyes preparing for the beast's assault. Oh no, what's happening? What's happening? Hello? Are they all right? I cast Sundress Boom one more time. Kaboom. Wakey, wakey. I like saying that. Or are they still asleep? Maybe someone cast nap time on them? Maybe. Thank you for your spell list insight, Mr. Know-it-all. Sorry for actually bothering to read the manuals. I'm not an amateur. I checked. No spell here. Frighter, you open your eyes to see three weird figures staring at you. Oh, look at these guys. All right. Oh, my gosh. You're in the middle of a field. It is a bright day. The sun is happily shining. Yeah, I read it my own way. It's fine. Birds are flying overhead. No sight of monstrous storms anywhere. Well, that's good because I don't like rain. I cast under his boom. Hi, stranger. I am Ilana. Are you all right? I'm doing good. How about you? Uh, I'm fine, thanks. Yes. That's good to hear. See, what are you doing out here? Spencer, is this really necessary? Is what necessary? All this banter. Well, it's a story game. I mean, yes, it is. We get it, new player. Welcome to the party. Let's keep things moving. Don't you think we need to set the scene? Wouldn't it be weird for a fighter to just appear in your party? You had us find them in the middle of a field. It's like they fell from the sky. What's this army? How is this any more natural? Can I just say I really like this development? I should be doing different voices for the people, but... It's Saturday, I'm just trying to relax. Maybe there's a cool mystery behind them being here. Exactly. Ilana gets it. At least this didn't take place at a tavern. That's true. You do have a thing for tavern meetings, don't you? Ooh, a drunkard among us. You really do. You said a new player was joining. I was immediately on the lookout for a tavern. <laughs> I guess them falling from the sky is an improvement. Maybe they fell from a tavern in the sky. 
I'm not that much into tavern meetings. Well, the rest of us did meet in a tavern. That's kind of different. Forget all that, fighter. What were you doing sleeping in the middle of the field? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hello? Maybe it's Steph. I'm not an it. You bellend. They did hear me before. Okay. What happened to the storm? What storm? We've been out here for a couple of days already. The darn thing ain't showing. Did you really see a storm? Maybe the fighter can help us find it. Psst, no, thank you. Fighters are only good at being walking shields. Not true. Never met one that knew anything about magical storms. Let's just leave them here. What do you mean, leave them here? I, I, I'm one person, like, like I'm not here. I'm sure they can be of some help. We do need a tank. Oh, so you're assuming my weight? I, I don't look, you know, tanky. Just, I'm just saying. This sounds like a vote to me. Oh my gosh, they're going to vote. Keep the fighter. Last, keep the fighter. That settles it then. Welcome to the party, friend. I hope you're good with the shield. I'm good with more than a shield, sir. Like there was a chance in Guru they wouldn't join. I probably said that wrong. It's fine. Can you stop complaining for five seconds? We should be getting back. Ooh, new achievement unlocked. Welcome to... I can't read it because... Caltrion? Calrion? I probably read it wrong. Riora will be worried. Hey, the wee lass must be scared all on her own. The halfling's tougher than you are. Now I'm a halfling? Also, she knows we're investigating here. Alright, she'll be fine. Who's Leora? Riora's our boss. Uh-oh, the boss woman. I wouldn't say boss. Let's say partner. She's paying us to do a job. She's our boss. We're protecting her while she's looking for the storm. To be honest, I don't really get it. Why she hired us, I mean. We are in the middle of nowhere. What would she need protection from? Who knows? Better safe than sorry, I always say. Let's just head back to camp. Riora would like to meet a fighter, yapping about a storm. Okay, then. Back to camp we go. Choose my next step. All right, we're going back. We're going to camp. Let's do it. There we go. We're there. All right, we're at the campsite with your new companion in tow. You start heading. Sorry, can I make a note? Yes. I would love it if we could just start using their name. That'd be great. The fighter's name? Yes, they do have a name, don't they? Oh, of course they do. It's on the sheet. <laughs> Here, uh, Turbo YT. That was pretty close. Oh, it didn't let me put the 614 in. That is rigged. Okay, it's fine. That's a weird name. You're, you have a weird name, okay, Pyromancer? Yeah, that's right. Gal Strap is worse. <laughs> let Gal Scap is, like, Gal Scap is better. See, that's why I said the game knew. It knew. Can you remind me what the rules for fighting allies are? There aren't any. Here we go. I see. Then, I want to cast Pyro. There aren't any because we're not doing that. No PvP? None at all. Not even a bit? Nope. Uh, of course, I don't mean fighting to the death or anything like that. Go on. Just, you know, until someone maybe falls unconscious. <laughs> this guy's rude. Then we are at an impasse. Because of the current situation stands, I would really like to see Turbo 614YT on Twitch. Maybe sort of fall unconscious. How rude. We talked about this in Session Zero. No infighting. <laughs> Cut it off, will ya? No cause for a fight. We need everyone at full strength. Danger may be lurking around every corner. Where? Behind those rustling leaves over there? 
It's not wise to fight one's allies. One needs friends more than one does enemies. What was that? Are you testing one-liners? It's from this thing I'm working on. A book. Ah, never mind that. Turbo614YT is a good person. You shouldn't fight. Agreed. Why do you like Turbo614YT so much? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> we met them like 10 seconds ago. And we met you one session ago. Guess who's making bad choices here? <laughs> Fine. Let's hope you won't need a pyro ball anytime soon. With Turbo IT in tow, you're heading back to your campsite. Small gusts of wind stir up the grass around you. Everything is quiet. The grass is very tall. At places, it reaches over a meter tall. So on a scale of zero to Pavel, we're talking Pavel Plus? A another reason why we dwarves be superior sharpshooters. I don't know about that. Our ability to blend into nature is uncanny. That's true, you are green. That's not the game, I made that up. You traverse the grass fields for about half an hour. The grass is noticeably shorter here. You see a small hill adorned with flowers in the distance. On the top stands a massive solitary oak tree. There it is, right there. And a little campfire, it looks like. The giant tree looks ancient, with the burdens of centuries yet. Verdant and youthful like a young sapling. We remember. No need to repeat it. Turbo wasn't here last time, you know. Yes, I'm abbreviating my name. Yes, that was a very important detail they missed. Remember that, Turbo. Ancient, get verdant. Yet verdant. I'm an idiot. I should have wrote it down, I think. Are we getting close to the hill? Yes, you are. Look, Turbo. I point towards the hill. Pointy, pointy. There it is. That's our campsite. Did you just say should? I'm pretty sure our camp is on this side. On this side? No. You don't see it. It should be on the other side of the hill. Why do ye keep saying should? We found Turbo out west. And I remember Pavel insisting we camp on the west side of the hill. Hey, so that the sun wouldn't blind us come tomorrow. They're right, Spencer. Not that it matters. But we did camp on this side of the hill. Hmm. But then. Wonder what's going to happen now. How come your camp isn't here? I mean, I see something. Mm, climb the hill. Let's go up the hill. Good call. Just to make sure there is nothing there. So? Notice a faint wisp of smoke coming from behind the hill. I called it. I called it. I'm just saying. Well, wow, okay. Really committing to the camp is on the other side narrative. <laughs> Let's go check. There we go. Climb the hill. Let's do it. We're going in. We're going in. The ancient oak. There it isn't. You climb the hill and see the remains of your campfire. See? This isn't right. Maybe Rior Riora moved the campsite. I don't know why she would do that. Why? Also, how? Ask Riora what she did with the campsite. Riora is not with you. Oh, right. Protect Riora? Were you supposed to look after her? And we are, splendidly, if I might add. We left her right here. <laughs> Where she certainly still is. Right, BM? Uh oh. Riora! We are back! Can you hear us? Is there anyone alive out there? Can anyone hear me? Alright. She's probably out for a <laughs> She's probably out for a piss. <laughs> what is this? Fellows, don't say it. 
Glassy, where are you? By the well, trying to say little Timmy? You neither hear nor see anyone. I think we lost Riora. What? No. The wee lass should just be around the hill. You frantically search around the hill. But there's no sign of Riora, light spark anywhere. Just the remains of your camp and a large patch of burned grass. Damn it, people. We had one job, just one. Protect the halfling. Relax, Ilana. You see, there is no way this is our fault. Excuse me? We were supposed to look after her. And we lost her. I totally should have did this in three different voices. It's fine. Correct me if I am wrong, but she was the one who insisted that we leave her behind. Right, Spencer? Yes. This makes her disappearance less of a mistake. It's almost as if there was a force. Maybe a storm or something. A power beyond our control. Compelling her to say these words. What words? Some unknown, all-seeing, godlike figure. That needed events to transpire in this particular way. Therefore, we never had any agency to begin with. Right, BM? Uh, you are correct, Gal Scap. I'm going to say Gal Scap. Yep, that's your name. I'm sorry for being so blind. The essence and the lifeblood weave the threads of fate. We are but mere puppets in the grand design of the cosmos. Trapped between the everlasting clash of order and chaos. We cannot be held accountable for the disappearance of Rior Lightspark. We can merely play the roles assigned to us. That's kind of true. Hmm. Yeah, sure, let's go with that. Wait a second, Gal's Gal. Didn't she say you'd set up some protective wards just in case? Weren't you listening? Riar is gone and is not our fault. Especially not mine. <laughs> we can merely play the roles assigned to us by the goddesses, Pavel. But the wards, what part of mere puppets don't you understand? Not our fault. Hmm. Let's find her. So, are we going after Riara or not? Obviously. Okay, all right, smartass. What, why? She is, she is our charge? We need to find her. No, we don't. Remember your speech from earlier? You know, the one about fate. Yes. Fate willed that we should lose Riara. Hmm. That doesn't mean we won't find her again. I will side with Alana in this one. Oh, come on. The halflings are charged, as Alana put it. Plus, she hasn't paid us yet. And I'm a wee bit low on coins. That do be true. Would you always disagree with me? Because you're funny. Not always. Only when you're... <laughs> only when you're wrong. Or being... <laughs> Or being stupid. I'm trying to read this game, but you're making me laugh. Stop it. This is funny. Okay, maybe always then. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't just leave right now. Why are you here, why are you here Gal Scout? Why is anyone ever in Caltri Caltrion? The adventure? The loot? It's a rich and viable campaign setting. The storms are made of magic crystals. And how is abandoning an expert in said storms a good idea? Come on, it's not that hard to find a storm. Not without a good tracker. What's there to track? You go wherever it's cloudier. Look over there. They point towards the mountains in the distance. I'll just head to the Hollow Mountains. They say that the storm is more potent there. Sure, sure. If ye can climb all the way up there... I'm quite good. And fighting anything trying to stop you. I will cast pie. And find enough supplies to last the trip. There's a... And then you'll have to figure out a way to harness the storm's lightning. Without getting hit by it. Dying. Alone. 
Laying there among the snow and frost. Hmm. Kind of true. You need us, old man. Even if you don't like it. And the halfling, too. Especially her. Hmm. Okay, people. This debate has gone on long enough. Turbo is falling asleep over there. I'm actually having a good time. No, I wasn't. No need to apologize. <laughs> you sure are sleepy, Turbo. I'm not, though. Maybe their body doesn't agree with the air down here. Since they fell from the sky and all. Well, that could be true. I think we should put this whole Riora thing to a vote. I say go after her. Really? That happened again? Alright. Let's go and find that stupid storm chaser. And I'll tolerate your annoying presence till then. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I don't need you. I've been through worse alone. It'll just help me reach my goal faster. You have a goal? Good enough for me. Okay. Let's find the wee lassie. What else do we see around? Other than the big patch of burned grass? Yes. Nothing else of interest, really. Just the remains of your campfire. That's true. And a big patch of burned grass. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is useless. Maybe the burned grass is a clue. Maybe it is. Yes, the burned grass next to a campfire. Elementary, my dear Ilana. Riora can't just have disappeared. There must be footprints leading away from here. I'll take a closer look. Has anyone left this campsite by foot? No, for all you know, no one left this campsite by foot. Trust me, folks. No one left this campsite by foot. We heard... Look, folks. The narrative needs to move forward somehow. Obviously, this is not a dead end. There must be a way out. We just don't see it. Pavel, you are the tracker here. What do we do? This is a very hard situation, my dear Galscap. Never in all my years of experience as a sharpshooter have I ever found a scene with less clues. It's really not that bad. Unless... Yes? Of course. Yes? It's obvious. Pavel looks at the tree. Go on. And that's where I'm going to cut the video because I don't want to spoil anything. So, link in the description below to go check this game out on Steam for PC. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed.